हेलो स्टूडेंट्स इन द लास्ट क्लास वी हैव सीन दिस टर्म्स फूड पिरामिड ट्रॉफिक लेवल एंड टुडे वी विल डिस्कस द रिमेनिंग पार्ट ऑफ दिस चैप्टर फर्स्ट सी लिंडेमैन्स लॉ ऑफ टेन परसेंट व्हाट इज लिंडेमैन्स लॉ फर्स्ट सी द लॉ अबाउट टेन परसेंट ऑफ द एनर्जी रिसीव्ड इन ईच ट्रॉफिक लेवल is used up for building the body mass which is available to the organisms of the next trophic level means what suppose this is the herbivores okay herbivores consume the energy from the plants from the producers so this level this trophic level consume only 10% of energy from this trophic level again third level consume energy only the 10% energy from the second level and so on this is the lindemann's law of 10% now see energy crisis this is a biggest problem nowadays because uh, due to the abundant use of energy excessive use of energy we know that fossil fuels like coal petroleum are less abundant and in the uh, near future it will be not available we know there are two type of energy resource non renewable resource renewable resource non renewable resource means which will not be available in near future once it be finished it cannot be produced easily for example coal petroleum natural gas that means the fossil fuels and renewable resource means which are expected to last for longer time for example solar energy wind energy tidal energy biogas energy etc now see chemical energy of food chemical energy of food means during the production of energy from food some energy is produced due to the change in the structure of molecules of different components of food that means the chemical reaction we know in the chemical reaction the structure of the food components the food molecules has been changed so in the, for this which energy is produced is called the chemical energy of food or chemical potential energy of the food now see frictional force in our daily life what is frictional force frictional force means a force applied in a direction opposite to the direction of the motion of a body suppose a football is kicked on a field we can see Uh, it rolls along the field and after some times the speed gradually decreases and ultimately it stops why due to this frictional force ball is moved along in this direction there is a force applied in the opposite direction which tends to stop this ball this is called the frictional force or in short friction there are so many examples of frictional force in our daily life like friction of two pumps uh, which produces heat we know in matchstick box new tire of our cycle car so these all are the examples of the frictional force this friction between two surfaces depends on the nature of the two surfaces why because smoother the surface is less in the friction if a surface is smoother the friction may be less so it depends on the nature of the two surface whether it is smoother surface or the uneven surface so this is all about this chapter next day we will solve the exercise thank you